What is going on, guys? You're tuned into the Monday Coffee Show. I'm James. And I'm Travis. And today we're going to be talking about social life as an adult and how things aren't what we thought it would be. When you're a teenager and you have the, uh, you know, just the life experience that you have and also the, um, just all the hormonal messages that you're getting, not necessarily in like this like, uh, like super puberty way, but like as a teen, you, your brain reconfigures itself to say that what is socially, uh, popular is just is that is the most important thing in the world and it starts and it like really takes over your brain for a few years um that eventually wears off which is good because that would be a terrible way to live your entire life i I think one of the things that uh you know when you're a teenager is is you create these like really really tight bonds with with the people around you um and you know whether that's whether that's you know a large amount of people and you you know you feel like you're you're doing that really well or if it's just like the small group of friends that I had in high school, you think oh my gosh we're gonna be friends forever. I it's very rarely true. I actually didn't think that way in the back of my mind. Like in high school, I kind of thought about things like very scientifically in a way. I'm like, this is a controlled environment. These are people that I have to be around. So I'm going to be around the people that I click with, so to speak, the most. But outside of this, if it wasn't a controlled environment, I wouldn't hang out with anybody here. So that's how I felt. I I think I would have still been friends with with, uh, my friends in high school like in you know in a different environment with different choices i think i think that still would have been true because uh we did um we did really bond and we really loved each other but i also had a childhood of like moving every like one to two years for for the entirety of my childhood um like until i was uh 12 that was true and um i had uh well like 11 but like um so I, I had this thing in the back of my head that was like, hey, when we all move to different cities to go <clears throat> to, to go to college or to just like kind of move on with our adult lives, uh, because my group of friends were absolutely not staying where we grew up. We, all of us jumped away as soon as we could. Um, and uh, so I had this thing in the back of my head of like, like having the experience of like, Yes, you miss those friends that you had made in that place, and then there's a transition, and like you know maybe you keep in it. It's a little bit easier to keep in touch now with with uh, lots of social media stuff and just like you know email. Uh, but like you know as a kid, like I would I would write like a couple letters to like an old friend, and then I would make new friends and I would move on with my life. And that has always been true for me, even though I've been living in the same city now for nine years. Um, that like some friends I just fall out of touch with because either they move or we just are in different neighborhoods or we're no longer working together or whatever like it and and that that transition is just always true um, life is change uh, yeah the weird thing is that like I said in the back of my mind I kind of was like once I like in high school at least I was like once I graduate I'm not going to talk to like 99% of these people so I don't care um one of my best friends, we've been friends since 8th grade, so like we still talk every day, damn near. Um, but everybody else that I'm friends with, like close friends with, I've met either in college, well no, I've met from basically working or music scene here in Philly. Mm-hmm. Uh, like my best friend who I call my sister, Marielle, we met at my first like official job when I was working at FYE like in 2009, so it's been almost 10 years since we've known each other. And it's weird because, like, I didn't think I was going to make friends there either. I was like, I'm just here for a check. That's it. But, you know, it's. I feel like when you have a closed mind, you kind of don't realize the potential of people that are around you and stuff like that. So I kind of feel like, at least for me, when I tried to have an open mind, it was like, yeah, hey, this is not going to work out. But when I had mm-hmm. a closed mind, I was like, okay, maybe I can be friends with these people. Yeah. Which is weird, but whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, like, I... Like, uh, like, like, still in my life, I, I've experienced, like, meeting new friends, 
uh, and also uh, just kind of falling out of touch with some people. Uh, that um, that that's just kind of like just been a truth in my life, and I've been very very happy that like um, especially for the last couple of years that I've had the the friend group that I have, and that I uh, do still continue to meet people. Um, a lot of times it is kind of through this like music scene because of, of like the friends that we have uh, who are musicians. So we go to their shows and then we meet other musicians. Um, uh, like uh, uh, like Sophie, who who you wrote about, I uh, um, I didn't know who she was except that she's playing this like goodbye show with Jake. Mm -hmm. And like other other than that, like I I I had never heard of her. Um, but like, uh, as of the recording of this, I still have not met her. But uh, by the time this video comes up, uh, I, I will have met her, and I'm sure that we will enjoy each other's company because she seems like a pretty chill person. And if she's playing music with Jake, then you know you gotta be you gotta be a pretty cool person. It's like it's the rules. <laughs> um, so how would you say like your I guess perception of like socializing with people and friendships and things like that have changed? since like high school to now like how do you do you go about things differently with friendships do you yeah i mean absolutely uh like the um the people that i was friends with in high school we you know we had this like very similar mindset of um the world is just so much larger than where we were um and that's part of why we became friends is is what to us seemed like these small petty things going on in our small town um like we just like had this like thing like there's always just like this nagging thing of like there's so much more world than this like why are we worried about this don't don't get me wrong we still got cut up caught up in it because like it's sometimes impossible not to yeah but um that's that's why we became friends and i think that that is different now than like uh and like we had we had shared interests um but i think that's different now than like the people who i'm friends with now where like it's almost always exclusively so like like uh the things that we're interested in the things that we like to do together uh like i like riding bikes so i have a lot of friends who like riding bikes i like live music uh and, and new musicians, so I go to a lot of their shows and those tend to be a lot of my friends. And I have friends who do, who do video stuff like this. And um, so that, that's, I think that's where that's changed is um, I no longer have friends because uh, we all wanted to band together and escape and like run away to the circus. Now I have friends because we want to make that circus to follow that analogy. We're, we're making the circus, that's what we're doing here. Uh, how about, how about your, I mean, like, you're still in the city you grew up in. Yeah, I mean, I've, well, for, let's just say, while Philly has been good to me in some ways, I don't plan on being here much longer. Um, but as far as, like, how I've changed as far as dealing with friendships, I'm a lot less of the person to reach out. I used to be a person who's always like, whatever you need, I got like, let me know if you need anything, or just randomly like doing favors for people and just like, oh, do you need this? Here's, you know, a lead for this. I stopped doing that because I'm like, most times people don't reciprocate. So um, just reciprocation is a big thing for me when it comes to friendship, so. I, th I think I think that that in itself is what friendship is. Yeah. Like someone, I think somebody, I think that's a requirement. If someone isn't reciprocating, it's like why? What's the point? Mm -hmm. It's like you're wasting my time. So um, I've cut I've cracked down a lot more. So I used to be the type who's just always the one to reach out, always the one helping out and doing stuff or whatever, and then just kind of sweeping it under the rug when it isn't reciprocated. But now I'm just like, nope, you don't reciprocate. You can just go ahead. And that's not necessarily to say I have, like, bad blood with people. It's just, like, I don't want to deal with you. So until you get it together, you can just stay over there. I'll stay over here. Uh, yeah. I was going to... Oh, I was going to go into, like, like just a, like a really, like, dark nihilist thing. And that is not appropriate <laughs> for this show, even as a joke. Uh, this, is a, this is a happy morning show. Um, but... I, yeah, I think I think that that's really important. I think that's something that like I have with um, with the people that I'm friends with now, um, and 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 really anymore. I think that most of my friends are also my collaborators. Uh, like you and I became friends, and then we became collaborators on this. Um, I was friends with 
Rob and Jake before I worked with them. I'm friends with, uh, you know, a lot of the people that I make videos for. I would love to get outside of that friend circle for, for work uh, stuff, but, like, I think that that's fun when, like, I'm getting together essentially to make, like, art with people, and that, that's been really cool. Um, and, I, and I see that as kind of, like, a, like a cool reciprocation there. Um, like, when, you know, when I have a, a video thing and I need motion graphics, I'm, I'm not going to sit down and try to bumble my way through motion graphics <laughs> if, if I can turn to my friend even and say, hey, you want a cut of this pie? Because I need motion graphics and you're a lot better at it than I do and you deserve to get paid for this. I think that's a good thing, too, because a lot of times it's also a thing where people tend to, I feel like people get comfortable. So they feel mm -hmm. like once you start doing favors, they're like, okay, well, if they're going to keep doing favors for me, if I keep asking and I don't have to reciprocate or do anything, and it's just like, no. Oh. I used to be like that, but now it's like, no, I can't. I, I, used, to, I used to be really guilty of that. I used, to, I used to be really guilty of like, oh, this person is just doing this thing, and I... Uh, was I, I just was really bad about like actively trying to reciprocate um, but uh, I think I think also a lot of the times I think uh, I had thought that like oh if I if I get enough in early I can just cash in on that a lot later and that's not true uh, that's not how that works um, yeah, so like, uh, as far as I, my friendships today and how I deal with things, um, I prefer to have a smaller knit group of people that I socialize with, uh, most of whom I've met pretty much through music, but I've also cut off a lot of people that I've met through the music scene in Philly. Um, it isn't, I'll say this about the Philly music scene and friendships, it isn't often that you come across people who are genuine and wanting to like build you know, relationships, friendships, whatever, because it's always like, oh, what can this person do for me? Mm -hmm. And it's, so like, that's where the whole Philly support Philly thing mm -hmm. to me isn't what people think it is, because it's like, people still work in their cliques. It's like, they don't mm -hmm. go to other artist shows, they don't reach out to other people, it's just, I'm supporting Philly, but only my friends in Philly. Yeah, I think that that happens to me, and I think for me what happens is because uh, like I, I typically go to my friend's shows um, I typically see the same group of people there I get really excited when uh, uh, when friends are playing with someone who I haven't seen before and I, I love going to see this new stuff or um, I especially love it and if, if uh, you have a chance definitely invite me James can be invited too of course uh, invite invite us to stuff. We'd love to see new stuff. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of our own interest. Um, like I, except for like you know the couple of records that I like listening to, I love hearing new music all the time because and there's just so much of it uh, that I would love to hear new music all the time. That's why like I got really excited when Pandora was invented. That's why I got really excited when. Uh, like Spotify added a, like, like a radio feature um, or it probably are, are always had it but I was really late to that game and um, but I, I love I love hearing new stuff I, th I think it's really rad yeah so like all in all I just feel like as you get older you kind of realize for one you can look out for yourself and just focus on yourself without being selfish mm -hmm. um, but you know I just feel like overall I've learned to kind of put myself first and then think about other people but it doesn't have to be like a far stretch between so it's not like oh do everything for me and then maybe help these people it's like I can do this and then by doing this for myself I can help other people yes so that's kind of how I operate when it comes to friendships and things like that so yeah um that's that's that tends to be like how I use my like um like my freelance gigs like like I mentioned like I've hired I've hired my friend Eve I just hired my friend Ian who's been on the show uh, to, to do some music for a project and um, I, I, God, I love doing that I love, I love getting to work with my friends uh, if I had it my way when this whole video thing takes off just, just lifts off uh, what I want like my ultimate goal is to have like a storefront place where I hire my friends 
to do what they're really, really good at. So they don't have to work at restaurants and grocery stores and uh, you know stuff like like they don't have to do the day job anymore. I want I want to hire my friend. That is that is my absolute goal. Um, hire me for stuff so I can do that. Um, yeah, see, that's a good mindset to have because it's like like it, like I just said, it's like when you get benefits from it, you mm-hmm. pass those benefits on to other people. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. How it should be. But, you know, everybody's different. Uh, let us yes. know in the comments how you feel about friendships and how your social life has changed um, throughout the years. And also, let us know, like, if you're a teen and we just helped expand your world so much with our clear expertise in this. <laughs> um, sorry. And just, like, you know, subscribe. As always, it's free, so why not do it? Uh, subscribe, like, share. Let us know your thoughts on friendships and let us know any topics that you want us to talk about. Until next time, enjoy your coffee.